Hey guys, this is Mike Stuff, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review over the iPad 2 of uh, the Wi-Fi Plus 3G 32 gigabyte. So, um, let's get started. First, I'm going to do a boot up. I'm going to start this two seconds before I do the iPad, and then at the end we'll, su we'll subtract two seconds. Stopwatch. And start. So far we're at seven seconds. Twenty-three. And that took exactly thirty seconds. So it's got a thirty second boot up time. Um yeah, so that's it. Here's the So this is the iPad 2 thinness against the iPhone 3GS. The iPhone 3GS is a little bit thicker than the iPad 2. The iPad 1 compared to the iPad 2. The iPad 1 is about twice this as is thick. The, this is the iPad 2. This is the iPad 1. As you can see, the iPad 2 has a camera. The iPad 1 does not. These are both the 3G models. They both have the 3G antenna. Although, this iPad 1 is my dad's, and it is 64 gigs instead of 32, which is mine. If you come down here to the bottom, you'll notice that the speaker is improved. Instead of the bottom out design, there's a curve design for better noise throughout. Once coming around to the side, you'll see the buttons for volume are on different, or on an angle. <clears throat> well, on the iPad 1, they're not. They're on the wall. If you look at the iPad 1, you may notice that there, everything is on the wall. That is because when making the iPad 2, they decided not to make the wall to make it thinner. And then they just put everything on the slant, as shown. In this video, I am using the iPad 2 smart cover to protect the screen, so please ignore this bar. As you can see, the semi injector is right here on the side of the iPad 2. On the iPad 1, it is still on the side, but more toward the bottom instead of the top. When you flip it around, you'll see no big differences other than the fact that the iPad 2 has a camera and the iPad 1 does not. The one is the thinness. Below is the iPad 1, above is the iPad 2. As you can see, the iPad 1 is almost twice as thick as the iPad 2. Is flat panel instead of curve. I believe this is so you can't do this. You can't push it down. Unlike here on the iPad 1, it's wobbling. They say that the iPad 1 design is for comfort, and yes, I agree with them. But when not using the smart cover, I believe that the iPad 2 is better for typing so it won't wobble around as much. The iPad 2 has much of a curved design. This allows it when they decided when Apple decided to take out the wall of the iPad 1, which is almost a centimeter thick, 
that's how they made this new device so incredibly thinner. The iPad 2 introduced many great new features, such as Photo Booth, where you can go have fun taking some crazy pictures. They feature Thermal Camera, Mirror, in an improvement from this versus the Mac Photo Booth, you can use your finger to move around to see how you want to mirror it. For example here, I took this picture on the airplane on my way to Colorado. The, the usual s swirl in this picture is in the center, but I was able to move it to be on my face for that angle. Next is X-ray. It pretty much senses color tenses and changes everything from black to white or white to black. Because seen here, the flip camera I am using is black. It made it white. Next is kaleidoscope. As you can see, I am moving my finger for the effect, I should say. So it makes a kaleidoscope effect. Next is normal. If you just want to take a cr if you just want to take a simple picture of you. Next is a light tunnel. If you have your face in the middle or even anywhere, you can move it for the effect. And so it makes your face look like it's in a light tunnel. Next is squeeze. It squeezes it. Here I have my brother's iPad 2 along with mine. This is mine. This is his. Now I'm making a FaceTime call, so say my brother wants to call me. He will now call, and I'll hey, say, James, you'd like to FaceTime. Uh, Except, it says connecting, and now it's dead. I just had to put it on mute, because I got some feedback. You can drag your image to whichever corner you would like. <clears throat> It offers three buttons at the bottom of each view. Mute, In, and Camera Swap. You can swap to the front-facing camera, as well as the back-facing. Then, the other button is End. That just ends your call. So let's see what it's like when I press End Call, and when it pops up on his. It would just automatically end it. So that is the FaceTime demo. Um, let's see, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Yes, I got it. iMovie. This comes up as, of course, iMovie. Let me move my brother's iPad out of the way. Move it. I have like five iPads over here right now. So, I'm gonna cut, um, get my frame, and then I'll be back in a sec. So I am back, and this is iMovie. So, first of all, with iMovie, it's pretty cool. You can, and I'll have a full review coming out, um, probably tomorrow or the next day, showing everything you can do, but I'm just gonna show you the basics. So, you can import from, you can import video, photos, audio, or you can import live feed. It's showing here. Let's get into that. You can also do live voiceovers. Now keep in mind this is a $5 application, but for any geek out there, I would recommend this. Then you have you have the option to view full screen. You can share it with Camera Roll, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, and iReport, or you can send the project to iTunes. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing, just comment below. I promise to respond to you. Or you can copy from iTunes. And then, of course, you can delete it if you don't enjoy your project. Then you can rename it. So I'm going to name this iMovie. iMovie. 
one. So that's what I always name my stuff. I name it whatever, and then if it's my first project, one, second, two, blah, 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 you get it. So that is the iPad 2 smart cover. Not smart cover, I'm so sorry. Um, just iPad 2 review. Um, what else? Yes, the last thing is camera. Now, I believe that the back facing camera is 3 megapixels, meaning this one right here. And this one, I think, is on, it's 1.3 megapixels. So the front facing camera isn't that best, that good, but then the camera facing away from you is the same on the iPhone. 3GS. So that is my iPad 2 review. Please stay posted to the channel. Subscribe, comment, and rate. And if there's any other questions, if you want me to go over any application, just comment below. I will try to get that application and get a review up for it. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the iPad 2 iPad 2 review. Um, please stay posted to the channel. Subscribe, rate, comment, thumbs up, whatever. Please do it. Uh, it's really a lot of help. So um, peace out.